coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, the weather's definitely settled down since it was last week when we had all those showers and storms in the area and we're even going to start to cool off. So our main focus is going to be all the sunshine we're expecting the next few days because the weather pattern going to stay quiet and dry right through the weekend and temperatures going to be staying below average daytime highs and overnight lows. And along with that, it's already been more comfortable the last couple days than it was earlier in the week, but humidity levels will drop again as we head into the weekend. So it's going to be feeling more like fall as we head into the weekend. So look at the forecast over the next three days. Lots of sunshine expected. Daytime highs only going to be climbing into the mid to upper 70s and overnight lows dropping into the lower to middle 50s. So it's going to be a very refreshing air mass. Not much humidity at all if you have any outdoor plans. Forecast couldn't look any better really for this part of August and you can give that air conditioning a break too. So that'll be an added bonus for the wallet. As we look at the temperatures right now, it's been a warmer day. We made it up into the lower 80s here in Terre Haute. We're back down to 80 since some clouds have started to drift in. 80 in Mattoon and Casey. Paris is at 79 along with Brazil and Effingham. 83 for Vincennes and 82 down in Ligoti. Looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, we had some clouds bubble up in the heat of the day, but starting to notice some higher clouds drift in from the west. That's out ahead of this next cold front. It's going to bring us that reinforcing shot of some cooler air. So you can see that just draped off to our west. It has kicked up a brief little line of showers on the leading edge, but as the sun goes down, I think that's going to lose all the energy. So I think we'll just see cloud cover from that front. You can also notice now Tropical Depression Debbie spinning down across the Carolinas, still dumping all kinds of rain across the east coast and also producing the possibility for some spin up tornadoes across parts of North Carolina and Virginia. So some very active weather along the eastern side of the US, but we're going to be staying quiet as this front makes its way across the Wabash Valley. So we'll put future cast into motion as we go into the night. Again, that cloud cover, I think, will thicken up a little bit as we go into the overnight hours. And that's about all that cold front's going to do for us in terms of any impact other than bringing us some cooler air. Some of those clouds could linger as we get into the morning tomorrow, but expecting a lot more sunshine for the day tomorrow. Really nice to finish up the work week again those highs climbing into the upper 70s. We'll see a breeze out of the northwest, a bit breezier tomorrow than it was today. We could see wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Then tomorrow night we'll keep the sky mostly clear. That will allow temperatures to drop down into the lower 50s. So if you haven't turned off the AC just yet, it'll be even more comfortable and you can definitely get some cooler air as we head into the weekend. Then on Saturday, once again, picture perfect, lots of sunshine on tap for us as we head into the weekend. And we'll just repeat this forecast really as we get into Sunday as well. So no issues weather wise for the next few days. But this nice weather probably not going to hold on forever. As we look at the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, you see a big chunk of the country expected to see temperatures warm up back above average as we head toward the latter part of the month. Average high for this time of year is around 86. So that heat and humidity may be back before the month is over. As we go into tonight, we'll drop down to 64 under a partly cloudy sky with that cool breeze out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 77 for the high, mostly sunny, a bit breezy with that wind out of the northwest. But again, can't complain too much for this part of August to have temperatures in the 70s for highs. Then tomorrow night, a cool night will drop down to 53 under a mostly clear sky. Looking at seven day forecast, those sunshine icons, very popular, will stay in the uh, sunny category as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. But our temperatures finally make their way back into the lower 80s. Forecast right now, keeping dry until we get into Wednesday, Thursday. The weather will get a little more unsettled by next week, so we'll have to see about those rain chances. But right now, no rain in the forecast until Wednesday and Thursday.